Good morning, everyone. I'm Jill Meyer. I'm the president and CEO of the Cincinnati, USA Regional Chamber of Commerce. And I'm honored to be joined for our exciting announcement this morning with a few people. Vice Mayor David Mann is with us, our Director of Taste of Cincinnati, Cynthia Oxley, Alicia Hales of Just Jerks Food Truck, and Nick Ducey from our presenting sponsor, Budweiser. So all of us and many more of our partners have some exciting news to share this morning about our nation's longest running free culinary arts festival, better known to us around town as the Taste of Cincinnati presented by Budweiser. A little bit later, we're going to unveil the official 2017 poster, but a few words first. As we all know, Taste of Cincinnati has for decades been a vibrant mix of cultures coming together across our bridges, our regions, and all of our backgrounds to help create this community that we are all very proud to call home. A few statistics. In the past three years, 2013 through 2016, an estimated 2.15 million people have attended the Taste of Cincinnati to enjoy our fair here in town. And in 2016 alone, an estimated $90,000 was earned by 17 not-for-profit groups who volunteer around the Taste of Cincinnati. Those funds were raised from both donations from the chamber as well as tips, generous tips from the patrons who come to the Taste of Cincinnati. Another, another fact, 47% of the vendors at Taste of Cincinnati last year were minority or immigrant owned, which again is a wonderful reflection of our diverse and vibrant community. And over the last three years, $65,000 was donated by the chamber, who of course you know as the producers of Taste of Cincinnati, but $65,000 donated to support culinary and entrepreneurial growth at Cincinnati State's Midwest Culinary Institute and Finley Kitchen. Now, before we get to the big news, Many of you know that the Chamber is focused on growing the talent base in Cincinnati. And because we've worked with Cincinnati's restaurant community for more than 40 years, we know that our restaurants often struggle with finding available talent to keep their operations up and running at the high level they do. That's why we at the Chamber on March the 30th will be hosting a panel and event featuring all the resources for the Cincinnati's restaurant community as they continue to build, grow, and look for talent. The session will feature the Midwest Culinary Institute and Finley Kitchen, among others. There's more information in the packet, and this is really an important part of the Chamber's work to build bigger and stronger pipelines of skilled talent to feed the thriving restaurant scene that has Cincinnati on so many different maps. Now, to the reason we're here today to announce our big news, I'm going to invite my colleague and the director of Taste of Cincinnati, Cynthia Oxley. Thanks, Jill. The Cincinnati USA Regional Chamber is pre pleased to announce that we're moving Taste of Cincinnati two blocks east. Taste of Cincinnati, presented by Budweiser, will remain on Fifth Street and run from Main Street to beyond Sentinel onto the ramps for I-71 and Columbia Parkway with beautiful Mount Adams as a backdrop. This will, add, this will not add to any traffic issues as the 71 ramp has always been closed during Taste of Cincinnati and the Columbia Parkway ramp will be closed at that time due to already scheduled construction. Park where you normally park for Taste of Cincinnati or park anywhere from Finley Market to the banks and take the Cincinnati Bell Connector. It will drop you just west of Taste of Cincinnati on Walnut or Main. The Cincinnati Bell Connector saw its highest paid ridership to date during Oktoberfest weekend of 2016, another festival produced by the Cincinnati USA Regional Chamber. Relocate, relocating an event holds more than half a million people is not easy. Fortunately, we have tremendous support from a lot of our businesses and, and community leaders. Our presenting sponsor, Budweiser, Columbia Plaza, Cushman and Wakefield, First Financial Center, Jones Lang LaSalle, PNC Center, PNG, Western and Southern, Cincinnati Fire, Police, Transportation and Engineering, 
sorta. This, our city manager, Harry Black, city, Cincinnati City Council, Mayor John Cranley, and Vice Mayor David Mann. Vice Mayor Mann, would you like to say a few words? It was a pleasure to be here on behalf of the mayor. He sent me for three reasons. Uh, first, I really like to eat and drink. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to being outside when it's not 30 degrees. Secondly, I want to thank the chamber and those who have uh, embraced the idea that we can, in this community, uh, walk and chew gum at the same time. But that I mean we can have major uh, multi-day gatherings and operate the streetcar in which we've invested so much money. And as many of you may know, during Oktoberfest, we had the highest paid ridership, ridership so far for the streetcar. This is an opportunity to duplicate that. Thirdly, I guess I'm here for historical perspective. Uh, the first Taste of Cincinnati was in 1979. I, of course, was a member of council then. And I remember that the, that first event was on, in Pyatt Park. Uh, it was overloaded, a lot of damage was done to the park because there were so many folks that wanted to eat and drink. And after that it moved, uh, as I recall, to Central Parkway and various venues and we've found what works here on Fifth Street. And I want to thank uh, the chamber and those who have helped make this creative uh, location possible. I used to live in Mount Adams and it is a beautiful view. Uh, going back to Mount Adams as I used to walk from downtown. Uh, so that's, that's a good attribute, too. I want to thank uh, also uh, those who are responsible for uh, diversifying our vendors, uh, the minority community, immigrants, and the like. This is a good development, and by and large, uh, I think Taste of Cincinnati is on a great course. So thank you all very much, and we look forward to May 20... And the date. May 25th through 27th. Thank you very much. <laughs> the, the, the most important thing are the dates. The dates are. All right. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Vice Mayor Mann, thank you. It's always great to have you with us. And now, as I said at the beginning, to unveil the official poster for Taste of Cincinnati 2017, I'd like to welcome Alicia Hales from Just Jerks Food Truck and Nick Ducey from our presenting sponsor, Budweiser. Hi. As an owner-operator of Just Jerks Food Truck that's participating in the Taste of Cincinnati, we are very excited about the move two blocks down on 5th Street. We love Mount Adams as the backdrop, and as uh, we participate for our fifth year at the Taste, we're excited to bring our jerk chicken to the community once again. Thank you. Thank you, Jill and Alicia. Uh, the Taste of Cincinnati has been brewing and building its way ever since it started. And once again, Budweiser is proud to be back as presenting sponsor. This uh, is truly the showcase summer event. And uh, with no further ado, should we uh, unveil the new poster? Thank you, Nick and Alicia. Great to have you guys back as our partners this year. I want to also, as we admire the great artwork for this year's celebration, which I think everybody knows these always become quite the collector's item, I want to congratulate and thank Cynthia and Davis Stainard of Stainard Design Partners, who created this, but it's one of many that they've created for us. Um, and they continue to do great work for the Chamber and many others. But Cynthia and Davis, again, thank you on behalf of the Chamber and the community for the great work that you do. And these, uh, Cynthia and Davis will stick around if you have any questions afterwards for one-on-ones, um, as will others of us. But thank you again very much for your work. <laughs> 